Hello there everybody, uh, Leslie Roy here, uh, the Irish Eurovision representative for 2020 and hopefully 2021. Thanks for inviting me uh, along for this interview. Since it's not in person, I'm going to be pulling up the questions on my phone, so I apologise um, for looking at, down at these questions. So here we go, we'll get started. Growing up as a member of the community in Ireland, did you find it difficult for people around you to accept who you were? Um, well, growing up in Ireland and going to secondary school um, in Loretto Combe, Balbriggan, I, I guess, essentially identified or fronted as um, heterosexual. So I was in relationships with a guy, and you know, so I guess I was treated as uh, I wasn't in that separated class. I wasn't out until I until I moved to the States and when I was, was about 21. So in that sense, I never face to face saw any differences or was ever, I was never treated any differently because that was the majority of people. That was how the majority of people um, identified, I should say. So I was never treated any in any way different. Um, but there was a low level anxiety for me knowing through my teens and through that time that um, I was knew I was gay and was wanting, as the years went on, more and more so to come out. So um, yeah, I wasn't treated in any way different because I actually wasn't out at the time. How has Ireland changed uh, since the time you came out in terms of the acceptance? Okay, how has Ireland changed? Well, Ireland has changed like drastically. Um, in a fantastic way, it's like night and day, just the politically, like the laws alone with marriage and I, I feel like where we stand within work culture and within schools, I feel like the conversation around um, anybody within our community uh, has just, I, we're just more informed and I think there's been more time and money and groups like yourselves that have put uh, so much work into informing people of how there's we're just there's no difference uh, whatsoever we are all that we are all one we're all the same and we're all like just walking this planet together so i think it has changed the, the best way i can say is that from when i like moved over here and came out to now ireland is like leaps and bounds ahead of where it was in in regards to the lgbtq plus uh community especially within the rights what empowered you to write your most recent release, Story of My Life? Uh, Story of My Life, well, um, as the title said, um, I think I was wanting to write a song that was uh, an, an empowering celebration of where I felt I'd come in my life in regards to my career and within the ups and downs that I've had uh, within that and losing my own self-worth and uh, being told what should be done or what I should be doing or sounding or looking and all of these things and boxes that people get put into not just within the music industry so I had been wanting to write a, a celebratory song in and around that concept and it kind of just developed from from my plot line into also this wanting of not wanting or needing but like my hopes for people to stand up and tell their own story in realizing how uh, liberating it was for me to stand up and kind of speak my truth and um, I, I kind of be became excited by the fact that me standing up and saying this is who I am this is what I've been through this is how excited I am to continue moving forward this is my story I think there's great release and freedom in um, seeing someone do that and me or anybody else handing over a platform for someone else to do that so it, it was like a thought process for a long time to get to, to that song and to make it sound as exciting and, and fun um, as possible. Uh, what was the reaction of the Irish public in relation to your songs empowering message of self, self acceptance and inclusivity? Um, and the Irish public's reaction was great and the reaction to the song in general, Europe, uh, America, um, anything that I have 
you know, read online that we're a 90% positive reaction to um, people standing up and speaking their truth. And um, if there was any negative reactions, it, I don't think it was ever to do with the the lyrical content. Uh, it, it, that's more so a taste thing that people would have on the pop music side of things. So the reaction was fantastic. I was delighted that Ireland primarily loved it and um, I was, it was just fantastic to see um, all ages, like my nieces from four years old to videos of people in their 70s running around their sitting rooms dancing the song, the action was great. Dancing and watching the video, people all over Ireland of all ages watching how, how diverse and inclusive that video is. Um, that that was very exciting and kind of going back to how Ireland has changed seeing that um, really really lets you know how much Ireland has changed um, how important do you believe that representing representation of the LGBTI plus people on the Eurovision stage is in what ways do you believe it affects the lives of Europe? Hmm. great question number seven um, I think the importance for the representation again, of any group that's marginalized is, is first and foremost. Um, th that should be a priority because the only way we're ever going to change in society, hopefully when the world we can get through this virus, the only way we're ever going to become to an all-in-one, all-inclusive place in the world is if we get rid of these groups of everyone being sectioned off. So I think if the Eurovision then is a form of including everybody and all of these groups coming together and there not being any divide if that's the, if that's the Eurovision or if that's like a sporting event whatever these events or shows or gatherings have to be to include everybody I, I think the importance is like whatever if you were gonna scale it on one to ten or a, a gold sticker like it's highly highly important uh, we have to get to a place of where we're all just we're all just one is there any advice you may have? Oh, advice is always tricky. I think it's what's hard about giving advice or ha having kind of come out yourself or told your story as much as I try and push people, to, not push, but offer a stage for people to tell their story. I think my advice to anyone who's struggling in relation to their identity and my hopes for anyone, when I think back to when I was like about 16 and really like in bits, about wanting to, to tell my friends deep down. I think if each day, if you can take it day by day, first of all, I think that's a big step with anything. If you can take, like, let's, you don't have to jump off, like, you know, uh, you don't have to dive in the deep end right out the gates. You don't have to stand up and, you know, as much as like my song or anything, you know, suggests, you don't have to come out and, and do all that straight away. I think at first, if you can, be kind to yourself on our daily and maybe stop any of those negative looping voices in, in to yourself first that'll help you get to this next place of of telling your story and um, being more comfortable with your identity and then being so comfortable with your identity that it's just you 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 discuss this with everybody and this is who you are and there's there's really no going backwards or stories around change or anything that is who you are I think at first if you can be kind to yourself first and then take baby steps into into the world as, as, as that that version of you but I think being kind for, for anything is something that I I want people to take away from, from me or from anything from this time period we have to be kind to ourselves first and then we can, you know, that, that spreads out across the board. Um, yeah, I, 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 that's my biggest advice for anyone in Ireland um, who's struggling with their identity. Be kind to yourself first and the rest, the next few parts will start to follow. Because if you're hating on yourself at home, um, it, it, it makes it harder. Um, you know, you're perfect. You're perfect for you, so. Um, those are the questions I got. I hope um, those answers made sense. Sorry for looking down my phone again and um, thanks so much for again for inviting me to this interview 
and I hope you all stay well and safe and kind to yourselves during all of this and moving forward. Bye folks. <laughs>